I'm Anil Kumar. In this video, we will try to understand how to find degree of a polynomial from the given graph and from the graph how to connect end behavior with leading coefficients. The question here is, for each of the following graphs, decide if the function has an even or odd degree, minimum degree the function can have, the leading coefficient is positive or negative. So these are the things which you need to decide. I will just sketch few graphs. You can actually uh, pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So let me just incorporate a couple of graphs here that I hope will give you good practice. So first let me draw four graphs. So let's begin with a function which is starting from the third coordinate right and then it goes to the first quadrant so that is the first function which I've drawn and then this time let me start from the second quadrant right so so we have a function here which kind of is turning like this and going like this so that becomes the second and this time let me start from here and end uh, somewhere, somewhere, somewhere like this. Okay, so, okay, so one combination. Let me now change the combination to something like this. Okay, so that is another function. Now, you need to tell me whether the graph represents even degree function or odd degree function what could be the minimum degree of the function and what is the leading coefficient. So here are the solutions for this. So when we say even or odd, even or odd we can decide from the end behavior. If it is opposite ends like in this case then it is odd, right? So odd. Same ends means even, opposite ends means odd, same ends means even. So that is your decide same ends means even and opposite ends that is the end behavior which will give you odd degree. Right. Now the question is minimum degree the function can have. So how do you find minimum degree? So let's call that as n. So minimum degree depends on the zeros. Now here we have a zero which is at least of order two since it turns and this is a linear zero. So n, the degree in this case minimum, can be two plus one, three. In this particular case we have one zero which is two. This is one, three and this is one, four. Even degree it makes sense. So minimum is n equals to four. In this case we see one as here but there is a turn this kind of a point you see that so it is at least three so don't get don't write this as one it is a linear zero but the transformation uh, the other point has been moved down so it is n equals to three is kind of tricky here now in this particular case what you really notice is that this function has one zero here two zeros here right but imagine as if this point could have been here. So it turns there, right? So it turns kind of there. So you have to incorporate that as kind of zero, right? It could have been translated down and then you'll get a double zero there. So here the degree is 2 plus 2, 4, right? 5 and 1 here, 6. So n in this case is 6 for you. So that is how you could get degree. Now we'll talk about leading coefficient is positive or negative. So if it is positive, leading coefficient is positive, then you see right side up, right up. Now in this case, right up, so n is then the leading coefficient. We'll write leading coefficient as a n, right? So leading coefficient, so we're writing a n is positive since right side is up. Right side is up, so a n is positive. Here it is down, so a n is negative. So leading coefficient is negative in this case, and also here, a n 
the leading coefficient is negative since the right side is down. So for the leading coefficient positive or negative, you just need to check the right side is up or down. If it is up, then it is positive as in first two cases and if it is down, then it is negative. I hope with this you have understood the concepts. Now let me give you four more questions and I hope you should not have any difficulty in answering these four. Okay, so here is uh, the first function linear zero and this is kind of like this right and then like this okay so that is the first graph and then again I have here this is very similar to previous one anyway I should have drawn something different anyway I'll give you a solution of one of these now let me start from here and let's turn and then we'll turn here and we'll kind of make a, a turn here so it's a positive ends. Okay, and let's make one starting from here again, but this time we'll move upwards. Okay, so we go upwards. So, like this. So you need to give the information about these polynomials, whether these functions have even or odd degree correct just as we decided or then minimum degree right count the zeros and the leading coefficient check the right side whether it is up or down I hope that helps thank you and all the best